And joining us now to talk more about the significance of the president's visit to Ukraine, we welcome in Colonel Daniel Davis, senior fellow and military expert, as well as Chuck Marino, former DHS advisor and Secret Service agent. We thank you both for giving us some time today. Uh, Chuck, let's start with you. Uh, talk about what went into not only getting the president to Kyiv, but getting him there secretly and the months of work that went into this. All right, it looks like we may be having uh, some technical difficulties there. So, Colonel, I'll direct that question to you. Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Yeah, you bet. You, he, he went to Kyiv, got there secretly. Nobody knew that he was coming. Uh, how long did this have to be in the works? We know at this point it took months yeah. of planning. Yeah, it, it definitely had to be because you have to, you know, make so much coordination and security as, uh, along with just the, the physical requirements and the moving pieces that all have to go together. And no doubt that last one there with uh, with Russia was an absolute necessity. You could not possibly take the chance that uh, the plane could get shot down by Russia thinking it was just some other plane or something else in the air over Kiev, et cetera. So this was something that was necessary. Uh, but, uh, you know, it does show that the Biden is willing to take some risks. You know, Colonel, we'll stick with you here. The White House, you know, gave Russian officials a heads up to preemptively prevent a strike in that area. Do you think that was smart or dangerous? Because we are still talking about Vladimir Putin. I mean, can he be trusted? Yeah, yeah uh, with these kinds of things, I think it was an, a, a requirement, not even a, a good idea. It was something that had to be done. Uh, because the risk of, of mistakes or, or miscalculation or accident was too high. And I, I just don't think that, uh, you know, Russia would knowingly or consciously take any action to take out the, the president of the United States because that would be an immediate, instantaneous act of war. Uh, and, and then, you know, the chances of nuclear escalation are just off the charts in that case, and everybody would lose. So I, I think that given the stakes of that, uh, it was appropriate to talk to Russia. And for this, they can be trusted just in their own self-interest. Not that we have mm -hmm. to think they're going to do the right thing, but it, it, uh, they're going to do it in their own self-interest, which this was. All right. And Chuck, I think we got everything worked with yeah. you technically. Um, you know, now yeah. we have to get the president out safely. I've heard he has at this point returned to Poland. But just how orchestrated really is all of this? Yeah, I mean, you all mentioned, look, no military boots on the ground uh, in a war zone. So certainly unprecedented, uh, required an attention to detail, uh, detailed logistics. We're talking about contingency planning and overall risk assessment. And like you said, it comes down to a plan that ends up being personally approved uh, by the president based on his level of comfort when he hears about the security plan here. But make no mistake about it. Uh, if any word of this trip had leaked uh, in advance, well in advance, the trip would have had to have been canceled and the president would have been able to make this trip, historic trip to Ukraine. So it was important to have the right people involved, the right interagencies. It really became a need to know operation. Uh, and then as you get closer to departure, then that circle uh, expands slightly. All right. Well, Chuck Marino. Colonel Daniel Davis, we thank you both. I wish we had more time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.